welcome to the principal's office. This is episode three of Straight to the Principal's Office. It's a special episode. We are going to go on location today and check out the senior boys volleyball team as they prepare for provincial championships being hosted here at MUCC November 24th, 25th. It is a 10 team tournament. I suggested it was a 12 team tournament on episode two, but in fact, there are going to be 10 teams here next week vying for a provincial 4A boys championship and I'm excited to bring some content to you today to highlight our very special senior boys team and the players and coaches so come with me we're gonna go tour over to the gym and check it out I'm here with our first guest on this episode, Mr. Linnell, our senior boys volleyball coach. L Mr. Linnell, thanks so much for uh, agreeing to come back and coach the team this year. It sure has been a huge help for us. Oh, you're welcome. Awesome. Mr. Linnell, could give us some highlights on uh, how you felt the season went with the team so far and maybe some highlights of some exciting things that, uh, that they've accomplished. Well, the whole season's been pretty exciting. Uh, strange fact, every tournament that we have played in, we have lost to the team that have won the tournament, except for the John Paul tournament. We won that tournament. So it's been a really successful year to us. Uh, we've lost in a couple quarterfinals, lost in a couple semifinals, lost in a couple finals. So that's all been really good. Probably the height of, uh, light of the year would probably be the Lloyd tournament uh, because there were 18 teams there. And out of the 18 teams there, we finished second. Uh, we lost to the number one ranked 3A team in Alberta, and they only have four divisions. So uh, that was that was pretty good, including we defeated the host team, which was um, Holy Rosary from Lloyd. So I think that was probably the highlight of our season, but the whole season's been really good. That's awesome. I've unfortunately haven't been able to watch the team, but I've I've seen them in practice, and I've. I get a chance to talk to them in the hallways after a tournament and, and they feel the same. They've had such a great season so far. So leading into the weekend coming up, Provincials, November 24th, 25th, here at MECC, how does the team line up to perform at this tournament next weekend? Well, I think we're in pretty good shape as long as we come out of regionals healthy. Yeah. Uh, there's probably four teams in the province that I think really are a tiny bit above the rest and that would be us. Uh, North Balfour, John Paul, um, I think that to Meadow Lake, definitely the past champions are probably the team to beat. And then uh, Moose Jaw Central, I think any of those teams, if they play well, could probably win the tournament. Yeah. So. Fantastic. Last question before I let you go back to practice. We have an excep exceptional staff at MECC, your wife included, who is part of the planning committee. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you, uh, that you want to say to those people that um, have have a really awesome weekend lined up for your team and the other nine that are attending. Well, just the boys really appreciate all the work that's gone on. I know it's an incredible task, uh, especially the way that Meadow Lake hosted last year. They did an outstanding job, and uh, if we're anywhere close to that, it'll, it'll be uh, a really great experience for all the kids that are coming. So. Absolutely. Good. Thanks, Mr. Linnell. You're welcome. On the world someday, you got blood on your face, a big disgrace, waving your banner all over the We have two players from the senior boys volleyball team. We have Colton and Chris here with us. We'll ask them a couple of questions. First, Colton, for you, give us some highlights of your season so far. Uh, my favorite highlight is winning the John Paul tournament in North Battleford. There are lots of good teams there, and we played really well. Um, I also thought one of my favorite parts was uh, playing in the Barons jerseys in Lloyd Minster because <laughs> we forgot our jerseys. <laughs> You see, that's one. That's one that Mr. Heffernan won't forget either. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, Chris, your team is hosting the 4A Boys Provincial yeah. Championship next weekend. What are you looking forward to the most? Um, MECC hasn't hosted provincials in a long time, and I think what I'm really looking forward to is just like everybody there and what it feels like to 
play at the home court and like test that theory on the home court advantage kind of thing and the food is there gonna be food there's gonna be food there's gonna be a canteen yeah that's what i'm excited too <laughs> and i'm also excited about the possibility of bringing home a number one double oh. <laughs> yeah we're going for the dubs here yep okay boys well good luck next weekend uh i i'm very excited to to watch you play yep thank you well, from my perspective, I think that team is ready to go. We are really excited to be able to host 4 A Boys Provincials here November 24th, 25th. Ensure that you can make some time to come out and watch uh, watch all the action this next weekend. Um, special thanks to all of the people that put together the, the weekend in preparation to host this tournament. Um, Mr. Heffernan and Mrs. Struby, our retired administrators, have put a pile of work into this. Uh, Mrs. Linnell and, and all the crew that we have here at MECC. So, we, uh, we hope that you can come out and watch, come and share in the excitement of uh, 4A Boys Provincial Championship. See you next weekend.